Clark is going to be the first vehicle in this. And you will have to let me know if A, you don't have the car, or if the game won't auto-upgrade to A-class cars. There are some vehicles, some C-class ones, that won't go to A-class for various reasons. Let me know. We'll draw you another one. Okay. Clark, you are going to be in A... Ooh, that's very good. That's very good. Holden Commodore. A BK Group A Commodore. That I would very much like to have. Bugger. That might be quick. That'll be on race tyres, I would think, as well, in A-Class. So, <laughs> that's going to be a good car. Danger Man, what are you going to be draw driving? You'll also be C-Class. You will be in. Uh, I clicked it. Are we going to load? Do I have to click it again? Ooh, maybe not quite as good. I'm not sure what Force is going to do with that. Will probably be quite powerful. Again, might be on race tyres. A bit heavier. An okay-ish. Um okay-ish vehicle so danger man gets a buick ewan you will also be in a c-class now remember auto upgrade these to a-class make sure you remove any upgrades that are already on the car because otherwise it'll mess around with the auto upgrading so ewan you are up next you are going to be driving a bmw m5 i mean that's a pretty good selection of c-class cars uh, oh, I will say, if you get drawn a... If it hasn't been needed when it is C-Class cars yet, if you get drawn a 60s muscle car, you are allowed to put a diff in it, because they are the most useless things in existence. We've done that before. It does make them slightly more usable. Um, just so, you know, you have a half-decent time, really. Uh, Impega, you are up next. Uh, you will, of course... Whoops, you will be in a B-Class car. Now, there are chances for silliness in this. There are chances for some good cars as well. Um, who knows what we might see. You might get a, might get a truck. I probably won't. I'll probably redraw if somebody gets a truck. As funny as it is. It doesn't work. Impega, you will be driving. <laughs> well, you had an NSX. I feel like if anybody gets screwed with something slightly silly, it's fair enough when you had an NSX. Uh, the Bronco Barrett-Jackson edition. It might not actually be completely... It's not as bad as the tank pool. Let's put it like that. This isn't tank pool levels of terrible, and these might be okay. You'll get off-road race tyres. You might get a lot of power as well in A-Class. Could be better than expected. Who knows? Chris! Let's see. I mean, that's, oh, that's really the first pretty... Un or a pretty weird choice we've had so far. Chris, come on. Kudos. Oh, well. It's front-wheel drive. You're the first front-wheel drive car uh, to be drawn, the Astra VXR. Um, it's okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's okay is about as far as I can go with this. Don't really know what that's going to be like in A-Class. Uh, it's close to the Corsa. <laughs> it's, it's almost a Corsa. Chris should be relatively happy. You had two not awful cars. It's something. Um, leather cap. Let's see it draw you a fear. I know it's going to. Uh, <laughs> 695 for leather cap, do we reckon? Uh, no, it is not a 695. It is instead an Audi S1. It is a small hatchback. It's I mean, you can pretend it's a Fiat. It's almost there. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no Fiat for you. It would be funny if Liam was to get the Fiat, but uh, no, you're in an S1. Liam is the next car. It'll be the last of the B-Class cars to be drawn. Let's see what Liam gets. It is actually a pretty good one. Quite a high B-Class car one. Um, SVT Cobra. I mean, that'll probably work. Um, that'll probably be quite good. There's some really interesting choices in this so far. I'm not quite sure. I think the Holdens are very, very good shout. I think the Holdens are really good shout. Uh, the SVT Cobra could also work very well. Longbow, you are going up to A class. I will. I'll definitely make sure to redraw if anyone who gets the same car as they've had just in A to A. But hopefully. We will not have any repeats of what we have been running. Longbow, you have got... It's a Lotus. Different Lotus, though. The Avora. Avora S. 
mid-A class might possibly work. I don't know. Um, it's not. It's certainly not the worst draw. Not the worst draw for for Longbow. Um, Gliska is up next. What might you have? It's going to be <laughs> Jeep Trail Cat. Well, you can race in Pega in the Battle of the Wobbly Boys. The Trail Cat is very fast. Normally, yes, one, but it might be fast in A class. I do not know. Uh, Blakey, all the cars are to A class. So, whatever the starting PI they are, everything's auto upgraded to A class. So, we're going to have three different sort of subcategories within. Um, and I'm kind of three subcategories within one of these. Everything's back to A class. We're having to do it to A class because not everything's got enough. PI to get around into different ones. So this just works the easiest. Speed Beast, let's hope you don't get a drift car this time, I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> you know, we want to have you have something decent. The 33 was run last time. We'll draw something else. BMW Z4 probably won't be on drift suspension. Got quite a lot of PI to work with in A class. A little bit of a middle of the road car. I guess it could be good. Um, we will have to wait and see. And finally, Blakey, you are going to be driving a Ferrari 360 Challenge. Not much PI to work with, but a very, very good base car. A very good base car, very good handling car. I love the 360 Challenge. A-Class might be a bit of a stretch to make it work, but... Um, we will, We will see. Oh, and of course... Let's not forget, I need a car as well, and I have I have I have yet to be drawn a vehicle. Um, I shall be dry, so I'm in C class going for A class. I will be in. <laughs> oh no! I like the Impala. I don't like it for this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be. Very, very fast in a straight line and not very handling. Oh, we're starting from third. Pega's on pole with the Bronco. There's a few different PIs in here, as the game hasn't auto-upgraded cars necessarily all that well. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen in this one. The 360 Challenge will probably drive quite nicely. I will not. I, <laughs> it's... I'm I'm not gonna my car's not gonna be good. It's gonna be very fast down one little bit. Um But Jeez, the peg is gone. <laughs> the all wheel drive machine is uh, off into the distance. The understeery boat here is not so good. Right, Impala. You better be fast in a straight line, otherwise we're really stuffed. If everything is pulling away from us now, I think it might it might be in for a tough time here. Now, we are now starting to close at 140 mile an hour. And that's something, but uh, I don't think that's going to be enough. Christ, this is not a good car. I feel like I might be in trouble. We're going to make the most of that little opportunity we had. Come on, Impala, if you don't start flying past everything now, I think that means it's game over for us. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's game over for the Impala, really. We are like we are marginally quicker down the straight. And then murdered in the corners. And Pega may go for another win here. At the moment, it doesn't really look like anyone's got much to challenge. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Bye, Voxel. <laughs> we'll just run away. At least we're faster than the Voxel down the straight. I think Longbow, whatever Longbow was driving. I think it was like the Evora. That gets murdered on the straights. Um, now, admittedly, we will go to other tracks that are twistier than this one, in which the Lotus will probably thoroughly enjoy, much as the Astra will probably enjoy them. Something's spinning its wheels. Speed Beast's BMW? Just spinning the wheels around there? Um, the Vauxhall is going to get past me here. I cannot defend from that. That might be on race tyres, you know? I think that is. I think that is probably on race tyres. Commodore is now trying to fight back. We're going to run away from the 
uh, Evora if we can. Uh, we will go up around the outside of Chris and just annoy the Astra. I feel like this is a sensible goal. This is a good life goal. Annoy the Voxel. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get boxed in by a Ewan. Oh. Oh. That <laughs> we got boxed in. Then Chris got boxed in. Everybody was fairly boxed in that one. The banana is very slidey. Uh oh, dear. The banana's had a very big wobble. Oh. I'm making a corner. We're making a wide banana. New game objectives. Make wide slidey banana. That's weird. <laughs> wide slidey banana is the order of the day, apparently. I can't believe that bloody... I, I knew the Bronco was a half-decent car. I thought something else in this field might be good enough. But the wide banana is probably holding everyone up. That's the hope here, at least. Right, on to the back straight we go. Um, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye to everything. I'm warming to the Impala. A little bit. Still not great. Leathercap's got the Audi up in second. I have run one of them in a lucky dip before, the S1, and they are... They're, they're one of those cars, again, a little bit like the RS5, is they're generally quite okay. Not normally anything amazingly special, but they are normally fairly solid, and at the right events they can work one. I can't remember what I ran mine in. Might have been A-Class. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's not a terrible machine. I don't know if they're actually starting to catch Impega, or certainly Impega's not quite running as far into the distance as the NSX managed. Uh, oh, no, we've got one more lap to try and hold off and annoy the Astra for. I think that Voxel is quicker than me. In fact, I have no doubt that Voxel is quicker than me. The traffic has got the better of the Astra, at least. So I could get past traffic through sheer brutal straight line speed, and of course the Astra can't. That's got to get that gets slowed down in the corners. There are advantages to the power belt. That does look like Leathercap is closing in on that Bronco. Oh, go away, Astra! I don't really want to have a lap of defending if I can help it, but I might have to, um, depending on how badly things go. Especially considering how badly this corner has gone, we're going to have a lap of defending. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> Come on, Impala. Use some of that power. Lombo's up to 7th with the... 6th, uh, sorry, with the Evora. I don't know, whether, I don't know how much defending we're going to have to do here, and I don't know whether I've got the skill or the car underneath me to make this work. Yeah, let it get ever so slightly quicker. So the Audi is slightly quicker than that Bronco. He's just going to run out of laps to do anything about it, by the looks. Don't run wide here. Now, there's going to be a little gap momentarily, but we're going to make sure the Astra isn't close enough. Well, I'll say make sure. We're going to close the gap down pretty quickly. Now, the Astra is going to get to the outside of us on the exit. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye to you. Uh, what will matter is the final corner. So the Astra can't get us here. It's too far back. It will get us here if I hit the wall. We are going to have to force it to go a long way round. Now, will Chris be able to... Chris wants to get underneath. Nope. I'm definitely never giving you any space down there. And that's perfectly legit. That is a perfectly valid defending strategy. Uh, make sure there is not a gap there. Chris could have tried around the outside. I don't know whether it would have worked. Um, I, think it, I think wherever Chris put that car... That was never going to have the run to the line. You know, the Impala wasn't amazing, but it wasn't terrible. Right, let's see what the wiggly banana can manage to do here. I'm going to guess uh, not much. This is going to have an off-road event. Sure, we didn't do an off-road event with the last ones. Why not do one here? The Bronco and Trail Cat will win, and the rest of us will flounder around like Muppets. In fact, actually, that will kind of work quite well, because the Bronco and Trail Cat can have their own little race, and the rest of us will have no control over what our cars are doing. It'll probably work quite nicely. Uh, <laughs> so we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. Uh, 1706, thank you very much for the donation as well. Uh, so maybe you mentioned this before, if so sorry to ask you to repeat it. You mentioned the Audi is thirsty. Uh, how thirsty? Sorry, I've, the race has now started. I shall, I shall uh, continue that in a minute uh, once this race comes. I didn't know how long we are going to be stuck on a loading screen. So, <laughs> there we go. Oh, crap. Oh, no, it's fine. We're going to make the corner, which could be a little bit wide. Oh, we've got SUVs and, well, not even SUVs, these are just trucks. 
It's just big off-road lifted things. Um, we're gonna, I don't think we're going to be able to hold the Astra behind again here. This is not a circuit that's going to go well for the Impala. I can sense it. Oh, a little bit of a dink. Uh, yeah, this is not an Impala sort of circuit. Uh, <laughs> there's distinct lack of long straights for me. And a distinct oh, number of tight corners and low speed acceleration zones. And might be better than the Buick. That might be about it. The trail cap might actually not be terrible here. The trail cap might work okay around this one because it's all about the uh, acceleration. The high speed grip in that thing will be horrible, sure. But eh, acceleration might save it a little bit. We've got a very, very good run, but I don't have the I don't have the brakes or the grip to do anything about my acceleration down towards turn one. I mean the field's are actually still quite close together. The more they fight, the better chance I have. Clark has got that Commodore up to the lead. I thought the Holden would be strong. Perhaps this is a circuit it fares a little bit better at. Come on, we can't get beaten by the trail cap. Oh, Chris is having a very, very big crash up there with the Astra. Really surprised the Evora is not doing so well here. I think the Evora might be struggling. Oh, Ian's a little bit laggy. Evora may be struggling with its lack of acceleration. Uh, oh, it's a cutback underneath. Good cutback from Gliska there. As our tyres have warmed up, we have kind of got going again a little bit. But I think Chris might have been waiting for Liam. There's a little bit of a lag shunt between the pair of them going on. I really want to have, and I might have to at some point, have a big go at the inside of the Jeep. Chris is going to find a rather miserable time because I'm stuck looking at the back of a Jeep that's quite wide and quite difficult to overtake. Chris is going to have... <laughs> <laughs> Once again, the watching brief on the banana. I think I live now just to annoy Chris. In these races, yeah, I'm not brake checking you. That's where I have to brake. I'm in a muscle car. I don't have very good tyres. Okay? That's just the way it works here. Uh, can we make it out of the final turn. You see, this final turn is where we can kind of put the pad of... I actually pulled a little bit of a gap on the Vauxhall now. Uh, <laughs> oh, this time... Oh, Gliska moved across to cover. Gliska knew there was danger in that one. That was that was maybe the better, the best chance I had. Gliska covered it. <laughs> there is going to be a very angry Astra behind us by the end of this because me and Gliska are really slowing this second pack down. I know if I get past, I'm not really going to go chasing off. Oh, oh well. <laughs> yes, scenery. Scenery came to my aid. Sorry, Gliska, I wasn't even trying to overtake you. I was just trying to get to the inside. The scenery actually saved me. Chris tried to force it alongside. Couldn't make it work because there was a lamppost in the way. <laughs> I have been on the receiving end of this. Not necessarily from Chris, but from other vehicles. I've been on the receiving end of this sort of, you just cannot get past. This time it might be enough for me, and this is actually what I want. Because if I can get ahead of the trail cat, now, stay ahead of the trail cat, that puts a car between me and the Vauxhall. <laughs> Come on Impala! Come on! You can do this. You can cling on to a maybe mid-pack finish we should probably... It's been a good race, actually. It has been an enjoyable race in all of this. But we can cling on to that mid-pack finish. Uh, we're going to park it on the apex, because I know there's an Astra. I'm pretty sure I almost got torpedoed by an Astra there. <laughs> oh, go on, Gliska. Beat that Astra. Beat that Astra to the finish line. Clark's... It's all gone wrong. He's doing a drift session. Uh, we will come out of the final corner. We will do it! Fifth place is ours! Oh, we're not going to get Clark. If Clark had messed around a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry and also not really all that sorry. <laughs> my fastest lap wasn't... I'd say my fastest lap wasn't terrible. And my fastest lap was, I think, about the same as the cars behind, mostly because they were stuck behind me in Gliska. <laughs> Well, Gliska, I don't know if you were having fun, but I was having fun in that. I feel like we had a good race and we annoyed Chris. It's something. <laughs> I start in front of the Astra. Impega's at the back. Impega will be in 
well, probably in the lead by the end of the first lap. Gleska will have long gone from this field as soon as we hit the dirt while we're in ghost mode. Right, let's make the... Uh, I've had a, I have had a thought. Um, I have had a thought. My Impala is quite low. My Impala is quite low and there is a lot of water. Um, I don't think I'm going to enjoy the water section all that much. But there we go, Adam. But the Bronco started from last and has already passed me. Okay, Impala, let's do this. We can we can make this work. Uh, I still don't know whether that route... I think that line there might be technically ever so slightly faster if you manage to get it perfect. But you do run the risk of hitting the wall. I always used to run that line. have since changed. And now I'm trying it again to see if I can make some speed up somewhere. Um, yeah, the Buick might actually do better than me. It might have a little bit more ground clearance and get through the water. This is going to hurt. Oh, no. Oh, I've got about the, the Audi. The Audi will be third. The rest of us will squabble over fourth. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, Longboat. I'm sorry, Longboat. <laughs> I didn't mean... There's not, there's not much in the way of control from the Impala, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the Impala kind of aquaplanes its way through the water. Avoid a fishtailing you and avoid a very slow speed beast, but that's because of those race tyres. Uh, can... Oh, no, 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 no. Trees, trees, wall and trees. A little bit too much went on uh, through all of that. I am sorry I've got very little control in this particular event. This is not a good event for the uh, slidey, slidey banana. Oh, don't hit the monument. Uh, <laughs> that's such a stupid lie. Oh, no. <laughs> Three wide with a little bit of a help from, I think, a longbow in there. It's fine. Everything is good. Everything is good. Everything is bad. Everything is still okay. It's come out of that in one piece, at least. That's something. Uh, oh, water again. I mean, we're in fifth. This has performed better than expectation, I feel. Longbow is helping me out of every corner here. In fact, this time it's Longbow that gets to look at the back of the Impala. Chris is actually further back. I don't think it'll be long before Chris is caught back up to oh god caught back up to us can I defend from the Evora uh, I mean that's probably asking quite a lot I don't know what tyres the Evora's on um, in this particular one this time I'm not going to run the risk of that little cheeky it's not really a shortcut but that little cheeky dive uh, by the monument I'm just going to play it safe so I haven't got anywhere near the pace of the Cobra that will win for best rear wheel drive car that will definitely win for best rear-wheel drive car. Gliska's actually got to the lead ahead of uh, Impega. So the trail cat is working out here. Yeah, I know the trail cat's good off-road. I have one. I love it for S1-class shenanigans. Um, but A-class... A-class just doesn't really get many upgrades, so it's always going to be a bit of a dog. Uh, come on. Come on, Impala. Uh-oh. I spy an Astra. <laughs> Don't get beaten by it. That's all that matters here. That's all that matters. Do not get beaten by the Astra. Okay? That's that's what we can't afford to do here. Do not get beaten by the Astra. We know the rules. We know the aim of the game here. Oh, I think Longbow tried to take the little jink on the on the well, across the across the bridge and past the little monument bit and I think Longbow may have hit the wall. So I think the Avora is gone. Uh, Impega has missed a checkpoint with the Bronco. Not that it's going to matter. It will come flying back past. Like, I'm not even going to fight with the Bronco. My fight is with a Vauxhall. Uh, <laughs> that's all that matters. That's all that matters now. Hello, Impega. Just, I apologise. I will probably be slower than you. I'm just trying to keep my own lap time up. If you want to go past, go for it. There we go. Uh, I lost no time in that. You lost no time other than the missed checkpoint. Uh, what happened to Liam? Liam must have missed a checkpoint, actually, somewhere as well, I've just realised. Because uh, that was... I didn't realise I was in third there. I'm up into fourth again. Uh, oh, oh, there's Liam. Oh, crap. Liam's here. The Vauxhall's here. It's about to get busy. I don't want a busy final to the race. I was enjoying my relatively calm run in fifth. And now it's become a little bit less calm over fourth. Oh, that's it, Liam. Continue to screw over Chris. That's what we like to see. Just stop the Astra from getting a good run through any of these corners. Make the make it. Ah, oh, the Vauxhall might be too far back, actually. You know, unless I really beans up this corner here, I don't think the Vauxhall has much of a chance of getting past the Impala on the run to the line. I'm very wide there on my own, which wasn't ideal. But can we do? It? <laughs> 
Got to be a bit careful through here. I know the SVT Cobra will probably be faster than me. <laughs> we did it! It's a fourth! It's a fourth! We beat the Astra! <laughs> oh, dear. How did Impega end up ninth? Impega, did you miss the finish? Wait, what? What happened with the finishing positions? Huh? I mean, Impega beat me and I was fourth, so... <laughs> it's uh, I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> Chris is, is, is not... Chris is so unhappy with the Impala, he can't spell the name. The um, Umpla? The Umpla and the Impala. Uh, <laughs> Chris is Chris did not have a good... Um, uh, I'm sorry, Chris. Um... I I am I am sorry. 